Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. Our preseason tour of the USA gets started on Thursday morning. Our first game is going to be Bournemouth, followed by Man United, followed by Liverpool. But let's talk about this Bournemouth game. This time, the preseason is very different from the last two years because of a couple of reasons. One, um, the players. Um, this time, we've taken such a mixed squad um, to the to the USA. Uh, a couple of young, uh, like half the squad is the youngsters and half of the squad is the first team. And even those first team players, you can argue that. A lot of them might not be here next season. And even from all those first team players, like only three or four of them are actual starters when the Premier League season begins. We are missing a lot of players. Gabriel is still not yet back. Saliba not yet back. Martinelli, Harvard, Saka, Declan Rice. We are missing a lot of players. The goalkeepers as well, Ryan Ramsdale. So this is kind of a mixed team. But we do have players that are there that I'm hoping to see a bit from. The likes of Vieira, the likes of Zinchenko. So um, let's talk about um, how the game uh, will go. Which kind of lineup will talk about? But, but then again, before that, um, the last two seasons, the last two pre-seasons have been mixed for us as well. In the 2022-2023 season, we won all of the five games um, during that pre-season. It was incredible. We trashed um, Chelsea. Uh, we put six past Sevilla. Remember Jesus shining in those games. Uh, we also beat Everton, Orlando City. And then last season, it was very mixed. We lost to Man United. We trashed MLS All-Stars. We beat um, Barcelona 5-3, an epic game. But we also drew with uh, Nuremberg in the first game, drew with Monaco in the Emirates Cup, beat them on penalties, and then went on to beat Man City on penalties as well um, in the community shield so this time it's going to be a very different um tough teams you're playing Bournemouth Liverpool Man United then Leverkusen and Lyon but there's a couple of players two three players that I really want to see a lot from starting from this game Fabio Vieira is the first one um now that Declan Rice is not there he can be used in the number eight position. Saka is not there. He could be used on the right position as well. He can be used as a backup for, for Odegaard. I, I put a poll on YouTube um, two, three days ago. Um, and I asked you guys, which position do you want to see Vieira playing next season? If he does stay, which position do you want to see him playing next season? Is it um, number eight position as a backup? A backup for Odegaard, a backup for Saka? And most of you say the backup for Odegaard. Now, as of now, I'm expecting Odegaard to play uh, most of these preseason games because he's been um, on holiday for the last like six weeks hasn't really played any games so i'm expecting him to feature so Vieira, there's a spot for him in the number eight and then in, on, in the right wing. so i'm hoping to see a lot from him in this preseason um i also want to see a lot from jesus i'm one person that has always said i want jesus to stay i've come in every single transfer video and i've said i want jesus to stay and um, many of you want jesus to leave but i'm like i hope it, it takes this preseason by by storm and shines and goes into the season confident. He did score in the last game that he played against Leighton Orient. And two seasons ago in the preseason, he was really good when he was making uh, the debut for us. He scored a hat trick on, I mean, the Emirates Cup and all that. So I really want to see a lot from Gabriel Jesus um, in this preseason. And then the third player, you can argue whichever way you want um, Timber, Zinchenko, Nwaneri. You want to see more Nwaneri, Miles Lewis, Kelly. So, first off, comment in the, in the comment section. Which two players you really want to see this preseason uh, out of the players that have been picked? Which two players do you really want to see a lot from? Is it Smith Rowe if he does play these games? Is it the youngsters, the likes of Noneri? Is it the new goalkeeper? Is it Timber? Is it um, Jesus? Which two players do you really want to see a lot from? Which two players will you, will you really be watching a lot? So, as I said, our first game will be against Bournemouth. Bournemouth have the likes of Solanke and Billing and those guys. They've all travelled. They are missing a couple of players, but they uh, don't have too many youngsters as, as, as many as, as us, so they will probably put a strong team out. I don't know which other games they've played. They're not really uh, followed Bournemouth, but for us, we played one game against Leighton Orient and we won 2 nil. So, this will be an exciting game seeing Arsenal back in action. We didn't watch the game against Leighton Orient, but the goals we saw, we throw scoring Jesus, I'm um, scoring as well. So, which kind of lineup would I go for in this one? As I said, we are missing a lot of players. Harvard, Saka, Rice, Raya, Ramsdale, Gabriel, Saliba, Martinelli, and Tom Yas, who's also injured. Actually, from Harvard, Saka, Rice, Rea, Gabriel, Saliba, Martinez, you can argue se those seven players are starters for us, no? So we basically only have like, you know, three or four players who could be starters that are available. And then another thing that is different from the other pre-seasons is that we don't have any new signing um, to use in this um, USA to unless Calafiori joins, joins in later. But um, for this particular game, we have a score to go for. Uh, the likes of Harvard's Gabriel and Martinelli will be back for the Man United and Liverpool games. So this is the lineup I would go for in this one. So I would go with Setford. I gave him um, a, a game here. I think he played. Did he play? 
uh, over the weekend. I think he kind of featured, but yeah, we only announced his signing recently. So I want to see him in this particular game. Uh, there's other three goalkeepers who are available. Carl Hein, Rogers, and uh, Nigard. they're all available, but I would go with Sedford. Obviously, you can replace players in the second half. You can make all 11 changes in the second half, 50th minute, 55th minute. So I would go with Sedford in this one in the, uh, uh, from the start. Um, I think Carl Hein could um, go. I wanted to do a predicted one, but it's very hard to do a predicted lineup in friendlies, especially fast game like this. With the youngsters in the squad, it's very difficult to predict when is going to start. So I'm just going to go with what I want to, to see in this particular game. So Sadford as the goalkeeper. My back four, I'm going to go with something almost similar to what we saw against Leighton Orient. So Ben White at right back, obviously had um, a, a full um, holiday off as well, didn't feature for England at the Euros. Lewis Skelly is usually a midfielder, but he did play at left back um, against Leighton Orient. So I'd like to see him there again. Timba started at, I think, on the left side of the centre back um, against um, Leighton Orient. I want to see more of him as well. We really missed him last season, only got featured in one game so let's hope this is a big preseason for him like it was last season and then Kivio again who knows by the time you get to Thursday morning Kivio might not even be an Arsenal player but I think Kivio will be here still for another week I'd still try to keep him depending on how much you're going to get for him so I'd go with Kivio, Timber, White and Lewis Kelly now just from that defense even if it's not a regular defense there's a lot of ways you can do um, like line up that squad you can have Ben White as a center back we could have Timber as a right back we could have Kivio as a left back and then have Tim Ben White as a center back so there's a lot of ways you can fear to use that squad but that would be my back four and then obviously in the second half there's other players who can come on i'll come to the subs later midfield wise um we don't have too many midfielders available apart from the youngsters plus Pat and Jorginho. Uh, but we are missing the likes of Rice and those kind of players. Uh, but for me, I am going to go for um, Party to start alongside Smith Rowe and Odegaard. So, as I said, with Odegaard and um, Party and Timber, these guys have had a full time off. So, I would go with all of them starting. Jorginho uh, was playing at the Euro. So, I'm going to give him um, an extra few days rest because he wasn't, um, I don't think he joined the pre uh, the preseason or the the training, the first training camp that we had right after the holidays, uh, the likes of Zinchenko and Jorginho aren't there. So I'm going to give them more time. Hopefully they can feature against Man United. And then Smithrow, let's see more of him. Like if Smithrow is definitely going to stay, I would have had him in my top two players that I really want to see a lot from um, in this particular preseason. But the thing is, could end up leaving if you get a good bid. Good bid, but we were told that Atta wouldn't mind keeping him and Smithrow wouldn't mind staying at Arsenal. So this is a bit of a 50-50 as well. We don't know what is going to happen. So Either two things. Either, either he plays so well and takes some um, advantage of, you know, having that spot for this preseason. He can also feature on the left side if he prefers that or if Atta wants to use him there. If he does play, either he increases his uh, value and you end up selling him for 45 million, 50 million, or we do decide to keep him if he has a big preseason. So let's see how that one goes. How they get in party, we know what to expect. And then up front, um, it will be um, Vieira for me. I want to see Vieira on the right side. You can argue play Nelson there or play Nwaneri there. For me, I was thinking Nwaneri um, instead of Vieira, but I want, I really want to see a big preseason for, for Vieira here. I say Jesus, I want to see a big one, a big preseason, but Vieira as well, this is a big opportunity opportunity for him to um to take advantage of the players who are missing and you know Zinchenko had a good first season not a good, great first season Jesus had a very good first season not the best second season for Vieira we haven't really seen a full good season from him the first two seasons so this is a really really big time for him um there's a couple of spots there where he can play let's see him feature I remember last preseason he was really good he scored the winning penalty against uh, Man City in the Community Shield he scored a bang against Barcelona in the 5-3 game so he looked really good in last season's preseason so let's hope he does the same in this one we need a big season from him like if you can have fabio vr shining like he was at fc porto two three seasons ago and have a backup for odegaard we're in a very very good place um nelson on the left side another one like another one like um smith throw and kivio we don't know if they're going to be here but i don't have too many players we can play there unless we decide to use the youngsters so nelson starts for me there and then jesus up front jesus and vr are the ones that are really really watching i need them to be to have big pre big preseasons, especially um, Fabio Vieira, I really need him to have a big preseason. Then followed by Jesus. So obviously in um, preseason, you're going to see probably eleven subs in this first game. So on the bench, um, I've put I think that's um, Karl Hein, Neger, the both goalkeepers, uh, Rekic, Heaven, Nichols, and Zinchenko. Those are the defenders, and then Jorginho, Noaneri, Asala, Olad. Goa and Rojak at the midfielders, and then Sago Jr. winger and Ketty up front, and then Trossard the 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 winger. So what I'd like to see here, obviously, this team playing at least for five minutes. 
And then in the second half, we can make a few changes um, depending on how the game is going. Obviously, the, the results that don't matter that much, especially for this first game against Bournemouth, obviously don't want to lose against Man United and Liverpool. But this particular game, I'm hoping like we have a couple of goals in the first half. And then uh, I don't necessarily have to see Trossard and Zinchenk in this particular game because they just returned not long ago. Um, I'd like, want to see maybe Nigad coming on for Setford in the second half. I'd like to see Red Kick maybe coming on for Timber. Heaven is as a centre back as well. He can come on for Kivio, Lewis Kelly. Kivio moves to left back. We can use Jorginho for party for sure in the second half. Uh, Nuaneri, I'd like to see him early in the second half. Now, the others, the subs could happen in the 60th minute, 65th minute, but there's three, four players I want to see come on at halftime. Uh, that's Nigad. Um, I'd like to see Nwaneri coming on at halftime as well. I'd like to see Sago Jr. coming on as well. Yeah, those those three, I'd like to see them coming on, especially Nwaneri and Nega. Those are the two that I really, really want to see coming on in the second half early. And then you can mix and rotate, bring in Kete for Jesus, bring in Trossard for Nelson, bring in Salo Lord for Smith Rowe. We can just switch it up in the second half, depending on how the game um, goes. Uh, again, results don't really matter. I know there's going to be 11 subs in this particular game. There's only one player that is missing from that list, and that is Rogers the other goalkeeper i don't think we'll have um three goalkeepers on the bench we're only going to use maybe one in the first half and another in the second half so hoping for um a good performance from those players that i've mentioned um the youngsters hopefully when they get an opportunity they do shine from noaneri and lewis kelly are the ones that we expect them to have a bit of um game time next season so let's hope they take advantage starting with this fixture the last two seasons the first game we've always played against nuremberg there's another time we played against watford i think but um like a close door but nuremberg we drew 1-1 one, one last season and the previous season we beat them 5-3 so there's been some really good um opening games in terms of pre-season this time around no first team players no new signings really in the team apart from the goalkeepers let's see how it goes my prediction for this game i'm just going to go for Arsenal 3, Bournemouth 1. Um, I, I'm hoping Jesus gets on the score sheet again and uh, maybe Odegaard gets on the score sheet again and maybe one of the youngsters. I'd be very, very happy with that. So this is the first game and then the second game will be on Sunday morning against Man United. By then we'll have Havertz back, Gabriel back, Martinelli back, but the likes of Rice and Saka, those ones are not going to be back until Arsenal return to England. So let me know what you make of that. Let me know which two players are really looking at this, this um, preseason and um, obviously your prediction for the game as well. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you on the next one.